Hey everybody, this is Captain Jack. I'm from the Minecrafters, and today we're going to do a little mod spotlight on Volta's Universal Electricity. Uh, I have everything that's in this included in this mod pack slapped up here in this brick board, and we're going to go through it item by item, and I'm going to show you what they do and how they can be useful in getting started in Volts. Uh, one of the most important things in Volts is this wrench. Uh, it's a tool that thankfully never runs out or gets uh, suffers a durability loss when you use it on something. Um, that's going to be used to change around the uh, orientations of your machines uh, and for some other stuff too. Coal generators, battery boxes, electric furnace, battery, um, copper wire which is only really used in the beginning and then all these other materials up here. Now they made it sort of easy in volts um, because of the way they've color coded things. Now you can you can have a basic circuit, advanced circuit, or elite circuit, and you notice the basic is green, the tier two advanced circuit is red, and this one is blue. And there's basically three tiers of uh, weaponry. If you look, I can't really see it here. If I show you, if you if you check over in here, you see conventional missiles. These are green. Um, then it bumps up to red, and you got these high-powered um, blue, quote-unquote, color-coded missiles. You have a launching platform, tier 1, green, tier 2 is red, and then tier 3 is blue, and same thing for the launcher control panels. Um, these are fairly simple to make. Just a little bit of redstone, some bronze or steel plating, and some insulated wire, which you're going to need those cows for that we talked about earlier. Um, and then each one of these uses the previous... Uh, circuit in its pattern. So there we go. Those are advanced circuits. So you're going to need those to make some of these basic machines. This plating is also fairly easy to make. Uh, there we go. Put four together. You got a plate. Uh, steel ingots, steel dust, which is that's actually the easiest way to make steel. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And this is a way to make bronze. Bronze is also extremely easy to make. And that's just two. Nope. Bronze is bronze dust is two copper ingots and a tin tin ingot in the middle. So what does all this stuff do? How do you use it in getting started? Um, let's take a look here. I have a little setup going here. These are coal generators. Now you saw heat generators in my first video. Um, unfortunately, in order to make these, you do need steel, uh, and I'll show you the easy way to make that in a second. Um, but what these do is they they take take in coal and output kilowatts and I have it hooked up to wiring. Now I'm just using this regular wire you can lay this on the ground just like that and that wiring is coming out from the back of those Now you can't really see but on the back of these the input facing or the output facing is black like every machine in bolts. We went over that in the first part of the video and the input facings are always going to be red um, you'll notice when I did that, a bunch of these fired up a little bit. They started to heat up. And that is because, temporarily, now that was just kind of a, l a little bug, but when you load these with coal, this is one of the cool things about these, and a lot of machines and volts, if you load them with, with a fuel, they'll only burn the fuel if power is required somewhere. So this battery box is full right now with 3.99 megajoules which is probably four, I'm not sure why it never ticks up to four, but this is full right now, and neither of these furnaces over here are running, so none of these coal generators actually need to produce any power. So that's really cool, it doesn't, it doesn't waste coal on you if it's, uh, if it's a precious commodity in your world. Um, so these are coal generators, you just drop coal in there, and uh, they'll make power to fill up your battery box, which is right here. I have an empty battery box in the bottom, you can see the bar looks a little bit different, it's a 0.0, .0 joules of four megajoules so it's empty this one's full and you can charge these up one of two ways you can slap a wire there and then these will go on they'll start heating up and once they all get hot because they need to get hot first wait till they get there we go and the battery box is filling up and they go faster and faster once they heat once they hit their maximum Heat. So that's how you fill up a battery box, and battery boxes are the basic energy storage device in volts. There's advanced battery boxes as well. We'll talk about those 
in a different tutorial. And then if I slap this here, this will be able to output energy into my electric furnaces. Now electric furnaces work basically the same way as other furnaces that you're used to uh, in Tech It Classic or Tech It Lite. All you gotta do is input some uh, some ores into these things and it will slowly make whatever item or smelt whatever item that you put in there. Got tin, got copper. You can also charge up batteries. That's these things right here. Again, fairly easy to make. Transport. Uh, they can transport power anywhere and if you put that in the top slot of the GUI of the battery box, it's going to fill up. Um, increasing color until it gets to green. There we go. We got a full battery. And then you can take that battery and you can use it to power these furnaces. So even though I have nothing in there, I can put a battery and I can also smelt it this way. So if you need power in a pinch, you don't want to send, make a whole setup with wiring and the whole nine yards, you can just throw a little battery in there. If I take this and I right click these furnaces, you'll see that it changes the orientation. The red side, red side being the input side, there is no output side because the furnaces are not outputting any power. The wrench will change these. Same thing with these. There we go. So the wrench is a really important tool. So we got coal generators, battery boxes, uh, and a furnace, and then this steel dust here. Now, I am still learning volts. I'm not an expert by any means, but I have figured out a lot about it. Um, and this is actually the easiest way by far to get steel because steel is one of the main components that you will need in getting started in volts. So if I drop one iron ingot, surround it by four charcoal, I'm going to get a steel dust, and if I put that steel dust inside of this furnace, voila, steel ingot. And I got a little bit of experience there too, even though I'm in creative mode. Um, so that's the easiest way by far to make steel. You don't need to uh, really make those heat generators like I did in the first video, but it, that way it does work. You can also use the coal coke furnace and uh, the blast furnace to make that, but that takes forever and it's the absolute worst way that you could ever want to make steel. So this is universal electricity. Um, it's a very small mod, but a very important mod. Um, these motors are used in a bunch of different things. Um, the plating is used in, in other things, in some of these recipes and patterns here. If I go into an electric furnace, um, that one needs a circuit. This stuff, all these, these are changing back and forth because all these parts are actually interchangeable. Um, you can use as long as it's one kind of copper wire, or actually you can use more than one of each if you want to use a little bit of the uninsulated wire or insulated wire. Along with copper wire, you can make those on uh, a few different ways, which is pretty cool. So this is it, universal electricity. Um, if you check out the crafting or the creative mode thing here, you can see all the mods listed. And again, we went over these before. Uh, this is universal electricity. Everything's included right in there. And Captain Jack's next mod spotlight is going to be about assembly line. There's some pretty cool things that you can do with stuff in here, moving stuff around. Uh, this arm bot is really cool. It takes a little a little bit of programming to get that thing up and running, um, but you can automate a cool little warehouse without all the pipes that every other mod pack is used, basically. We either red power or build craft pipes. Um, so yeah, the conveyor is going to be the next mod spotlight in Captain Jack's foray into the world of vaults. I hope this helped. If it doesn't, or if it didn't, just uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's anything I missed, and I can add it into a future tutorial. Make sure you visit us at our website. It's theminecrafters.com. Check us out on Facebook. We're theminecrafters.com on Facebook as well. And as always, stay poised.